And groups protesting the president promised a large turnout as well. While we saw smaller demonstrations as soon as this morning, uh, the big event was due to get underway, featuring a large inflatable character of the president as a baby. And News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky is live with protesters at Stonewall Bar about half a mile from Amway Center tonight. Adriana? Yeah, it's really close to the Amway Center, and that's why some Trump supporters and protesters have actually squared off here. And I want you to see there is a really big police presence here. And as you can see, there is a virtual barrier between Trump supporters and Trump protesters. On this other side of this wall of both Orange County Sheriff deputies and Orlando police officers is the win for love, win with love rally on the other side. You can see that that baby Trump inflatable is there on that side. This is where hundreds have gathered for this rally. They are sharing songs. They are sharing speeches. And you can see this is the other side of this barrier. Lots of confrontation, but so far, nothing too serious. Earlier, I spoke with Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith about this protest and about this rally. Here's what he had to say. This is the real Orlando showing the world, showing this country exactly what Orlando United is all about. We win with love. We don't live with the types of hatred and bigotry and division that comes from the Donald Trump administration and from this presidency. And as you can see here, they are trying to really keep things peaceful. And they have squared off. In fact, right in front of us, we have a group that is uh, discussing is the best way I can put it. But as a result, you see there are officers all around and keeping things here as peaceful as they can because, as you can see, tensions are high here as both these Trump supporters and Trump protesters are gathering in this small, confined space along Church Street, both sharing their views. So we will be staying on top of things here and let you know what happens. Reporting live in Orlando, Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6. But they do have a large police presence there in case anything should happen. Adriana, thank you for that.